What's up guys, Relentless right, Forget here with Cool Space Program episode 4. Um yeah. Let's begin. I kinda of failed last time. Massive life. <sighs> but uh, we're gonna build a new rocket today. Hopefully we can do something with it. I wanna definitely just get into orbit. Because we failed. Somehow. I've almost forgotten how now. So let's just go. Let's go for simplicity. Yeah. And then we'll go for. Hmm. One second. Copper. Yeah, might as well. Let's go for these fuel tanks, because I like these fuel tanks, they're good. Let's go for three of these. And then... Propulsion. Uh, should we go for this? Because I know this fits. Okay. Structural. Let's go for some radio decoupling thingies. Put them on the sides here. That looks nice. And then we'll put on some more of these. Okay, well, why not move this? Here we go. There we go, okay, now we we need some thingy mobiles to share the fuel. What are they called? These external fuel up. So basically what this will do is when these are out of fuel and they will they will uh, decouple, this will still have full fuel on it. So we'll go from here. There we go. So then the fuel will go from there into here to keep this full. Okay, let's put some rockets on. Um, these ones, I like the look of these. Oh, this, this ship is going to be awesome. Aerodynamic, obviously. And then just some structural goodness. Let's go from the yeah, let's just go to that, to that, and vice versa. Oh, will this work? Hmm. No, that won't work, because it needs to be couple. Let's just get, uh, I want, I want to have them though. I feel like it'll be unstable. How can I make it? Hmm. Can I just have them go straight across that? Like no. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can. There you go. Then let's put one here. No, that's just that is not going to work. Oh my god, I just Okay, let's try this again. Put on these fuel tanks now. Okay, then put on the aerodynamic nose cones. And then put on the Structural struts. There we go. Yeah, it worked this time. You should do another one for the lock. There we go. So I'm hoping. I think this rocket, I'm actually. I've got a lot of hope in this rocket, actually. 
And then also we will put on launch stability enhancers. Can I not put these on for some reason? Oh. Oh. Why can't I put them on? Ah, oh, there we go. Don't know what happened now. So let's just grab the top of this and bring it all the way down. Okay, cool. Just bring it up a little tiny bit. Okay, good. So that's going to come off. Those two rockets and this rocket are going to fire. Then these two are going to decouple at the same time. Yep. Then that will decouple. Yep. Okay, let's call this the Orbitron. And Orbiter. And Orbiter. Or orbiting the orbit of a planet. Orbit. I don't think that even makes sense. The Orbitron. Let's launch. The Monster Mun. Clearly the monster munch. That was a massive fail. Someone didn't click the like button. Okay. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna launch. We're not gonna do any of the of the like button stuff. We're just gonna launch, okay? Let's go. Okay, so we actually have a successful lift of all SAS almost forgot. Okay, cool. So we wanna get into orbit with this rocket. I don't know how possible that is going to be, but, you know, I think, yeah, I want to do it, and I think we can do it, you know, I think we can. Um, Tom Cass is, uh, he looks over the moon, actually. <laughs> over the moon that he's going to be, he's going to be a real man for flying into space. A good one, Tom Cass. Well, this has been like one of the most composed rockets. It's not wobbling all over the place. Oh, look at this. This is it's good. This is good. Let's just wait till this liquid fuel runs out. Which won't be long. And then when I'm kind of getting out near the... Out of this, like, really light blue thing, we're going to slow down the burn to save some fuel. Because you don't need as much fuel, obviously, when you're getting to the outer bit of the atmosphere. After I've uh, detached the liquid fuel, we'll decrease, decrease the burn, decrease the throttle. Okay, so hopefully these will attach. Detach, yep. So we've just got one liquid fuel engine now, and we're just going to decrease to about there. Uh, okay. I'm actually also gonna put on a slight turn onto this. Oh, 45 degrees. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, it'll just stay like this. Please? Yeah, okay. Okay. This has been pretty good so far. We obviously didn't have any solid fuel on this rocket, so I'm not having to speak really loudly. Thank the Lord. So you can see that our fuel is full because of the um, this fuel ducts, which is great, and this is lasting a long time. And then we'll actually up the fuel a bit here. Go for a bit more horizontalness. Yep, this is all good. Let's go for a bit more. There we go. Okay, this is great. Because we want a nice good orbit. Okay, there we go. Because that's what the aim of this craft is, it's an orbitron orbiting 
That's exactly what I hope to do this episode. Should we put in a maneuver here? To orbit. There we go. We can alter that here to, to move it over and make it a, a round orbit. Let's uh, put it in in line. Oh, that's not good. There we go, SAS on. Speed up. Okay, we're burning in 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 6, 5, oh, actually no, let's just correct this a bit. We don't want, and we burn now. Why has my screen just gone really bright? Don't know if that happened on the video as well. But yeah, all is good. Okay. So burning for around 50 seconds, that's all good. Let's check out one more bit. Okay. It's not the best orbit, but it's an orbit, you know. Well, it will be. Actually, that's much, we'll have to do a correction here. But we'll do that in a second. <laughs> Make sure we're in line with the, the blue purpley one. And there we go. Nice round orbit. Actually, if I keep burning. Yeah, there you go. We've got a good orbit now. And kill the throttle. Okay. Let's just remove that maneuver. Okay, there we go. We've got a... Uh, Let's just make this a bit of a better orbit. There we go. Node in 22 minutes. Let's just line up. I've got to find it. There we go. Come on. I didn't put it. I should have really put some, um, oh, what they called the uh, things that make like turning a lot easier. I should put them on. Okay, and then we will skip. Okay, so we're looking here for I just admire Kerbin. <sighs> Sixteen, fifteen. I don't want to skip any faster than this because then it'll suddenly just whiz down and we would have missed it. Seven six Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so in about eleven seconds, we've got a burn. Okay, four, three, two, one, and let's burn. Well, uh, that's it. There we go. Okay, so we have got a lovely orbit around Kerbin. And what's this? The crummy bummy. <laughs> Just chilling out. So there we go. We've got an orbit around Kerbin with the orbiter. I think that'll be enough for this episode. I don't know if it was long or short, or really short or really long, but we 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 finished an objective, which was to get into orbits. So there is the Orbitron in orbit, and yeah, I will see you guys all later.